Hey guys, John Oaks here, and this is going to be a very short, down, dirty, quick video that shows you how to set up a masked redirect using your own domain name. So the first thing you're going to have to do, of course, is register your own domain name. And uh, let me, before I go there, let me quickly just show you what a masked redirect is. Uh, let's say that you have a join page with an opportunity or a, an affiliate link to uh, something that you're promoting and you'd rather not uh, have the end user see your entire affiliate link but you'd rather just have them see a domain name. So uh, let me give you an example of the traditional affiliate link way first. Um, let's see, I'll, I'm going to use my affiliate link to my join page with Empower Network. So that would be there. So this is the, the join page for an opportunity that I promote. And you can see up here it says EmpowerNetwork.com join PHP ID equals Logic Blogger. This is not the most uh, user-friendly link and you might not want to send that out to somebody or put it out there. Uh, if you want to mask that, then you can do that as simple as this. And let me show you one that I've set up already. If you go to joinjohnoaks.com it goes to the same page, but you can see up here in the URL, it's always going to say join John Oaks. So even when somebody fills this out, submits and goes to the next page, which would be, uh, you know, the, the getting into the upsell funnel, um, this is still going to always say join John Oaks.com. So they're not seeing all the affiliate stuff here. This also comes in very handy if the link is an affiliate link and you're not able to promote affiliate links on certain properties like YouTube is not real affiliate friendly. Um, so if you're posting links in your video description, you might want to use a masked URL. So this comes in real handy for that. Uh, also on Facebook and, and other properties as well across social media sites. So let's quickly go back and, and let's set this baby up so you can see how easy it is. So uh, back to GoDaddy.com. Uh, at this point, you will have already wanted to set up a GoDaddy account and register whatever domain name you want to use. Um, you know, using your name or join your name or your name team, you know, something like that is, is good if you're promoting a business opportunity. If you're promoting a, a specific niche product, um, then you can use something that's uh, maybe keyword driven. It's entirely up to you. It doesn't really matter for the purpose of this. So what we're going to do is go ahead and log into the account. And once you're logged into your GoDaddy account, you're going to go ahead and click on the My Account button right up here in the corner. And then we're going to come down here to where it says Domains and we're going to click Launch. And that's going to put you into the Domain Manager. So then you're just going to go down to whichever domain it is. Now I've got a, a bunch of domains uh, in this account, so I'm just going to find one that's not really being used that we'll use for the purpose of this demonstration. Um, I'll just go ahead and use this one. So you click on the domain that you want to set up the masked redirect for and you come down here over domain information and right down here where it says forwarding you're going to click the manage link. And then what you're going to do here is put in the URL to the page that you're wanting the end user to to see. Um, so in this case it would be uh, the one that I had just posted over here uh, sorry, I'll just type it in. So www.network.com ID equals logic blogger. So that's my affiliate link to uh, empowernetwork.com. And then what we're going to do here is not click the OK button yet. We're going to click on Advanced Options. And we're going to come down here, and instead of selecting Forward Only, we're going to click forward with masking. And then that's going to give us a couple more fields to fill in. So we're going to enter in a title. And a description. And this is entirely up to you. Depends on what you're promoting. You can literally enter in whatever it is that you want. And then a couple of keywords. Separated by a comma. And 
I'm just putting this stuff in for test purposes. So once you have that done, you just click the OK button. And it's going to tell you that the changes might not be uh, in effect for up to 48 hours. You know, sometimes it takes just a few minutes, but sometimes it does take the full 48 hours. Um, so just wait, you know, don't panic if you go to that URL and it's not going to the right place. Give it a couple of days and make sure that it's working and then test it. Once it's working, then you can just use that domain instead of using your full affiliate link. And that's that's it, guys. That's it. Super easy. Uh, you know, I'm going to go ahead and post this in our uh, private Facebook group. Hopefully this will help you out.